It's a pleasure to have you with us today. It's a pleasure for me to join you on, on the uh, VTV4. Uh, Vietnam is, is in the process of negotiating the free trade agreement with the EU. And uh, tell us what are the, some of the most outstanding benefits that Vietnam can gain from this trade pact. So uh, coming back uh, to the uh, 2012, where the EU and uh, Vietnam started the negotiation in Brussels uh, in June 2012. In 2013, the two-way trade uh, amounted uh, about 27 uh, billion euros with 5.8 billion euros for EU export for Vietnam and 21.2 billion euros uh, for the EU imports from Vietnam. And uh, the EU, besides that, is one of the largest FDI investors uh, in Vietnam, committing 1.37 billion euros in total. So um, this um, agreement is likely to further extend the uh, strong trade ties and the investment opportunities between uh, providing the, the, the benefits for both parties, the EU and, and Vietnam. Uh, however, what I would like to emphasize is these benefits will go above the uh, trade tar uh, the tariff cuts. Under the FTA, it is, uh, for example, estimated that Vietnam's GDP will uh, rise by uh, 15%. The uh, skill wage, uh, uh, real wage, uh, will increase by 12%, and non-skill wages will uh, uh, increase by 13%, and the total value of trade export will increase by 35%. So, um, um, Vietnam is the third ASEAN country uh, to hold FTA uh, negotiation with the, uh, the EU after Singapore and Malaysia and uh, followed by the Thailand. Mm -hmm. This will favor, I think, we, the incorporation of Vietnam in the regional market and um, where the, uh, the competition uh, will surely benefit the uh, consumers. So um, uh, it is key that Vietnam demonstrate that it is open to bringing the negotiation in the next level uh, in order to create a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. So which sectors in Vietnam are expected to gain the most from the FTA? Well, it is difficult to say as uh, we do not have uh, finalized uh, the final agreement yet. Um, I, um, however, we could foresee that there will be further strengthening in a uh, areas uh, where Vietnam has a competitive advantage. But again, it will go beyond uh, the tariff cuts. Um, this will be only possible um, when a number of changes will be implemented. Among them, the increase of know-how and the skills of the Vietnamese, hence the quality of the, of the products. Uh, this will be uh, in our point of view, a key factor for uh, Vietnam's continued competitiveness in the uh, upcoming uh, ASEAN uh, economic uh, uh, community. Mm -hmm. Farm produce and fishery products are Vietnam's key export items to the EU and they require very high quality standards. Um, once the FTA is inked, how would that impact these export activities? Uh, first of all, the EU regulation regarding the agro products will not change after the FTA signature. The products will have to comply because it will be the question of the health of the people. Uh, so um, uh, we should not compromise neither in Europe nor in Vietnam uh, when it is related to the health of our, uh, our population. Uh, however, we strongly believe that the FTA uh, is an opportunity to work on the uh, food health, on the, uh, sorry, on the implementation of the uh, recent food law. Uh, this will enhance the level of food safety, uh, enabling growing export for Vietnam, improving the image of the uh, agri products uh, in Vietnam or in, um, uh, on the international markets. Uh, for your information, the dedicated uh, sector committee, um, uh, food, agri and aqua, is working closely with the Vietnamese authorities um, in order to uh, uh, set up um, 
Food Safety Agency, um, which is a key recommendation of uh, uh, this sector committee through the White Book. And for the next month, the um, Vietnam EU Business Forum will plan an event uh, in order to handle all these issues. Besides negotiating on trade matters, the FTA also touch upon several issues such as uh, government expenditure, free market and intellectual property rights. Which one will be the toughest barrier for Vietnam to overcome? It is hard to say because uh, the three uh, issues that you mentioned are, um, we think, equally important. Uh, according to um, our, our statistic, uh, it, it is estimated that 40% of the economy is in the hands of the state, uh, uh, of the state, state sector, sorry, uh, which in itself is not an, an issue. Uh, however, in those areas, State companies generally benefit um, uh, from uh, some favorable treatment, uh, access to loan, access to la the lands, and with maybe sometimes very low profits targets. And um, what European businesses will um, expect from the Vietnamese government it will be an equal treatment when they could come on the Vietnamese market. This is, uh, I think, the, uh, the point we, uh, we would like to, uh, to pinpoint. On the IPR, um, uh, well, as a consumer, for example, or as a business, uh, you, we would like to buy products uh, that ensured you, that is ensured not to affect product uh, in terms of a customer point of view. So what does the EU business community in Vietnam think about the agreement and the benefits it is likely to bring? Our members are expecting a level uh, playing field, uh, a better access market and um, uh, an agreement that will be uh, uh, something else than a double TO plus. Um, our members I think that um, the FTA will increase stability and predictability for the business environment and, uh, in Vietnam and it will help, it will help um, to enforce the current laws in Vietnam. Uh, so uh, for sure this uh, agreement will have a very um, uh, high expectation from our, our, our business uh, members. Um, for your information, over the past year, um, Eurosham has elaborated a, a business climate index survey. So uh, conducted on uh, in the last February, mm -hmm. uh, it shows uh, business uh, strong confidence and uh, outlook has uh, strongly increased. Uh, for the first time since 2012, uh, the um, business climate index has gone above the midpoint. Uh, from uh, 50 to uh, 59 points. Uh, so this is an important increase uh, which seems to further demonstrate the strong belief of uh, European businesses on um, the Vietnamese market. From a business perspective, how do you think about the pace of ne the negotiation for the free trade agreement between Vietnam and EU? I think the, uh, the pace is uh, uh, quite normal compared to uh, the other uh, FTA negotiated with the EU. Uh, mm. However, um, uh, I do not have enough information about the uh, the specific difficult issues that um, you know pave the uh, the whole process. So, since the start of the negotiation back in 2012, um, how has Vietnam uh, changed in order to address the issues that are still on the table of the FTA? Um, for example, on the three issues that you mentioned before, um, such as free market government expenditure and IPR, on the IPR, uh, we have seen some uh, achievements. Uh, uh, for example, with the um, update of the old uh, legislation, uh, the issuance of the uh, new uh, IPR legislation However, we uh, still believe that uh, there are some rooms uh, in terms of improvements uh, to be made. Mm. So what improvement can, can, can be made? 
uh, as far as the uh, uh, the IPR uh, ranking of Vietnam, um, according to the last uh, statistic, uh, we uh, Vietnam is ranking 123 out of uh, 144 economies. Uh, I think um, we we still have uh, some improvement in this area. So most exported products from Vietnam to the EU are still mainly raw materials and have very low value added. Um, what should Vietnam do in order to promote sustainable production in these sectors? The reasons for Vietnam's current position in the, value, in the global value chain uh, are strongly uh, related to uh, the IPR protection and uh, education. Vietnam is currently uh, competing on the low um, uh, on the on the low labor cost based on the low labor cost. So um, the we we ha we heard that uh, the government has expressed the desire and uh, the need to move away from uh, this model to the uh, to the. Um, uh, uh, technology and value added products and I, uh, we think that the, the development of the geographical uh, indications uh, participate to the effort of switching from no or low uh, added value to higher one um, currently under um, uh, 30 40 I think 40 products are registered um, and for example Vietnam can be proud for it's a uh, 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 which is registered in the EU as a product design, a design a designation of origin PDO. Uh, this product enjoys the same level of protection than any EU product. So, um, despite this um, enthusiasm to create the GI, uh, it remains uh, very challenging. Uh, for uh, farmers and producers to fully implement this GI protection. So um, we believe that uh, this FTA will, be, uh, will provide you know, the necessary help uh, because the, um, uh, the use of a habit of product protection uh, from EU, uh, it, it will help Vietnam to overcome this process. So the FTA is likely to open up new opportunities for EU to invest in Vietnam. How do you think Vietnam should prepare to absorb this flow of capital? The FTA cover um, uh, trade of goods and services and a lot of areas. Uh, however, it needs to be implemented uh, before investment will really start to, uh, to have an impact. Uh, first of all, we have noted that Vietnam has already a high level of AD, uh, FDI um, registered, uh, but the um, disbursement uh, pace will remain uh, weak. In order to enhance the capacity of Vietnam to absorb uh, the foreign capital, uh, effort should be uh, continued in terms of improvement in administrative procedures, uh, business environments, and uh, ground clearance. Besides that, um, uh, we believe that Vietnam should build up capacity to help the businesses um, to uh, meet the new standards and uh, support the introduction of uh, EU procedures uh, to the enterprises and create favorable conditions for them to export to the EU. Mm -hmm. So how optimistic are you about the prospect of the FTA between Vietnam and EU to be signed by this October? Uh, Eurosham is very optimistic uh, about the uh, prospect of us uh, concluding the FTA. Uh, in terms of planning, the uh, eighth uh, round will be in Brussels in uh, June. Uh, and uh, the negotiators will be back in Hanoi uh, for the final round in September, October, and uh, hopefully FTA is expected to be concluded uh, in October uh, 2014 in Brussels, mm -hmm. and the uh, Prime Minister of Vietnam will be in Brussels. Well, thank you very much for taking your time being here with us today. Thank you.